In this video, we will introduce the strategic preparation for GitHub Copilot GH300 certification success. What is GitHub Copilot GH300 exam? GitHub Copilot GH300 exam domains. Benefits of GitHub Copilot certification. Preparation strategies. 1. Which of the following describes role prompting? A. Describing in your prompt what your role is to get a better suggestion. B. Tell GitHub Copilot in what tone of voice it should respond. C. Prompt GitHub Copilot to explain what was the role of a suggestion. D. Giving GitHub Copilot multiple examples of the form of the data you want to use. 2. Which of the following scenarios best describes the intended use of GitHub Copilot chat as a tool? A. A complete replacement for developers generating code. B. A productivity tool that provides suggestions but relying on human judgment. C. A solution for software development, requiring no additional input or oversight. D. A tool solely designed for debugging and error correction. 3. What types of prompts or code snippets might be flagged by the GitHub Copilot toxicity filter? Choose to A. Hate speech or discriminatory language, e.g., racial slurs, offensive stereotypes. B. Sexually suggestive or explicit content. C. Code that contains logical errors or produces unexpected results. D. Code comments containing strong opinions or criticisms. 4. What is the benefit of using custom models in GitHub Copilot? A. Responses are faster to produce and appear sooner. B. Responses use practices and patterns in your repositories. C. Responses use the organization's LLM engine. D. Responses are guaranteed to be correct. 5. How does GitHub Copilot chat ensure that a function works correctly? A. By suggesting assertions based on the code's context and semantics. B. By automatically writing all the tests for the function. C. By writing the implementation code for the function. D by executing the test cases to validate the correctness of the code. 6. What is a key consideration when relying on GitHub Copilot Chat's explanations of code functionality and proposed improvements? A. The explanations are dynamically updated based on user feedback. B. Reviewing and validating the generated output for accuracy and completeness. C. GitHub Copilot Chat uses a static database for generating explanations. D. The explanations are primarily derived from user-provided documentation. 7. How can GitHub Copilot assist with code refactoring tasks? A. GitHub Copilot can fix syntax errors without user input. B. GitHub Copilot can automatically rewrite code to follow best practices. C. GitHub Copilot can suggest refactoring improvements for better code quality.
D. GitHub Copilot can remove unnecessary files from the project directory. 8. What is the process behind identifying public code matches when using a public code filter enabled in GitHub Copilot? A. Running code suggestions through filters designed to detect public code. B. Comparing suggestions against public code using machine learning. C. Analyzing the context and structure of the code being written. D. Reviewing the user's browsing history to identify public repositories. 9. What is the correct way to access the audit log events for GitHub Copilot business? A. Navigate to the Security tab in the organization's GitHub settings. B. Navigate to the Insights tab in the repository settings. C. Use the Audit Log section in the organization's GitHub settings. D. Use the Code tab in the GitHub repository. 10. What configuration needs to be set to get help from Microsoft and GitHub protecting against IP infringement while using GitHub Copilot? A. Suggestions matching public code to blocked. B. Enforce blocking of MIT or GPL licensed code. C. You need to check code suggestions yourself before accepting. D. Enable GitHub Copilot license checking. Check the correct answers for each question. Subscribe password for more IT exam prep.